In Creo Parametric, you can use a mechanism in order to create an animation. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I have an assembly open. Let me go to one of my combined states. I will go to the View Manager and then the Alt tab. And then let's double click on a combination state that I have set up for my mechanism. And there we have it. Let's close out of here. The first step in order to make an animation from a mechanism is to run the mechanism. Let's go to Applications and then Mechanism. And I've created this mechanism in other different videos, but I need to run the analysis. Let me expand the analyses in the mechanism tree. Here it is. I will click on it and then let's generate it by using the green flag icon. And now it is computing. We can see how the cranks are turning and pushing the different pistons up and down. All right, it has finished computing and it even turned on my computer fan. It was doing a lot of work. Let's go to the playbacks. Here it is. I will left click on it and then we need to save this playback. So I will hit the save icon and here it will be called valve train. That's good. Let's hit the save button. And now it has been written out to disk. And now to create the animation, let's close out of mechanism mode. And then we can go to the applications menu. And here we have animation. And by the way, actually, let me go back to mechanism mode for a second. If I close out of here, let's go to applications and then mechanism and go to my playbacks and we can open up that existing playback. You can take a playback and then you can generate a movie from it, but you can do it in animation mode because you get a few other bells and whistles that you can do with it. So for example, if I wanted to create a movie from the playbacks dialog box, we can use the play button and it is loading up. The important thing to note is that if you use the capture button, this is where you can generate it as a movie and even render it. But let's cancel out of here and then close and close. And then we can go to applications and then animation. And this will put us in the animation mode. And one thing I'm going to do before anything else, let's create a, another save view. I'm going to apply different views at times. So let me go to something that looks like the front view. Nope, that's not the, what I want. Let's go to the side view. And that's really zoomed in. Let me position it like such. This is how I want it to appear. Now I can save this view by going to the Save Views icon and then Reorient. And just for the name of the view, I'm going to be simple and call it View 1 and then click the OK button. And let me go back to my valve train mechanism view. Maybe I want to start out in this orientation in my animation. When you start off in animation mode, you're automatically going to get a default animation based off of an explode state. And in this case, I want it to be based off of my mechanism. And so if you go to new animation, here we have the option to import from MDL. So I will click on that. Here is our animation name. I will rename that. I'll call it Valve Train. And then let's use the little open icon on the side to grab the playback that we want to use. I'll click the open button and then OK. And the animation has been imported. You'll notice that it has a little green diamond indicating that it is the active animation. I actually don't need the other one over here, so I can right click on it in the animation list and then choose to delete it. Oh, and one thing to note is that by importing the valve train animation, it automatically adjusted the timeline. The default timeline is 10 seconds, but since my animation, or excuse me, my mechanism was set up for 8 seconds, that is the time set up in the animation. And now at this point, you could use the generate icon in order to make the animation, but let's do a little bit more. You can see right now we have all the different mechanism entities displayed on the screen. That kind of clutters everything up. So let's go to animation display. And I'm just going to turn everything off and then click the OK button. 
that's good. And now for some of the bells and whistles that I mentioned earlier, those are in the graphic design area. So for example, you can apply different views at different times. Let's do that. I'll choose view at time. And here we have view number one. I'm actually going to use the valve train mechanism view. We're going to have that be right at the beginning. And then let's say about three seconds in, I want to use that view that I just created. So let's have this be three seconds after the start and hit the apply button. And I want to stay there for two seconds. So let's have five seconds after the start, go to this one. And then let's go back to my initial valve tree train mechanism view at the end. So let's do eight seconds there. And one of the, oh yeah, I did, let's hit the apply button and then close. So there we have our different saved views. We can also do different transparencies at time. So let's go to trans at time. And this is going to interpolate between the different transparencies that you apply at different times. So I'm going to say, hey, let's select this component and hit the OK button. And I'm going to have this be opaque. In other words, it'll be solid at a time of zero. Let's hit the apply button. There you can see the transparency listed in there. And then the next one, let's select the same component and then click OK. I want this to be completely clear at a time of three seconds. And then let's hit the apply button. And I want the same component, click OK, to be clear for the entire time, that two seconds uh, that we are in the other saved view. So let's change this to five seconds and hit the apply button. And finally, I want it going back to opaque at the end of the animation. So let's say eight seconds after the start, let's hit the apply button. So there we have some of the different effects that we want in here. Now that everything has been set up, we can generate it. Oh yeah, another thing that you can do in here is you can apply different styles for the assembly components at different times. I have a video on style states. But anyhow, let's hit the generate button. And so now you can see it computing. Let's give it a few seconds. So now that it is done generating the animation, you can use the playback button and it is processing. And here we can hit the play button so we can see the animation go. We can crank up the speed if we want to. And so you can watch and again, you can see how it's changing the views or sort of like the camera location at different times and changing the transparency of that housing component. And there it's completely invisible. And when you're done, you can hit the stop button and then you have the save icon over here that allows you to capture this as a movie. And just like in mechanism mode, we have the ability to render this as it is being created. So there you can see it. That's how you can use the different tools within your design animation in order to leverage a mechanism. And the movie has been created.